Hi, good morning, friends. Today, great day for me because I am starting UGC Net free online coaching. I need your support, encouragement, and suggestions. I'll try to solve all 2004 to 2014 question papers with the solution. Okay, we'll begin our journey today. We'll start December 2004 question paper. We'll see first question. A or A equal to A is called. These all are standard theorems. I hope you know already what is identity law, De Morgan's law, and important law and complement law. Uh, for this answer, this is a straightforward question. This is ad important law. But sometime it may ask me identity law or De Morgan's law or complement law or associated. It may be any law. So I have listed just go through this table. Second one, this is a more uh, tricky question. If f of x is equal to x plus 1 and g of x is equal to x plus 3, then composite function of f of x means f dot f dot f dot f of x is answer is g a uh, g plus 1 g raised to 4 none of the above the question is f of x means composite function of f of x but all the answers represented in g of x form um, for this don't select suddenly uh, d because in examination you are in the hurry uh, you are suddenly you are selected d that is the wrong method because you are writing one of the topmost exam in india so uh, just see look at this problem how to solve how to uh, like these questions the given f of x is x plus 1 uh, then composite function of f of f of f of f of x is now you know what is f of x just substitute x plus 1 in f of x then this consider total x plus 1 is x substitute one more f of x that is x plus 1 plus 1 means you will get a f of f of x plus 2 similarly substitute one more time because one more f of x so x plus 3 finally you will get a answer is x plus 4 i hope you are familiar with this composite function if you, if it is not just go for uh, just learn basic things of composite functions now you may write x plus 4 in x plus 3 plus 1 like this what is your x plus 3 that is g of x so x plus 3 plus 1 that is g of x plus 1 that is g plus 1 answer is b uh, it is not d so be careful while solving these type of question we'll see i hope you understood uh, this problem we'll see next problem third one is context free language are closed under Actually, context-free language is closed under union, clean star, and concatenation. Uh, but this question is very important. It is asked three to four times uh, previous question papers. So be careful about this uh, this question. Sometimes it may ask context. Uh, sorry, uh, regular language is closed under context-free language closed under union, clean star, and concatenation. Be careful. But regular language closed under intersection union complementation clean star and also a concatenation for this answer is union and clean star the context free language uh, language closed under union and clean star concatenation i have listed this one this table uh, regular language is closed under concatenation union clean star complement and intersection but context free language is closed under concatenation union clean star first three concatenation union clean star both common for both the languages only regular language is closed under complement and intersection i hope you understood this question we'll go for next one fourth question the following list are the degrees of all the vertices of the graph this is one famous theorem sum of degrees is equal to twice the number of edges if you know this theorem you can easily answer this question 
this question is looking like difficult but it's very easy if you know the uh, standard theorem the sum of all the vertices in g is twice the number of edges in g that is sum of degrees is equal to twice the edges this is the uh, formula now we will uh, check out one by one first option is 1 plus 2 that is 3 3 plus 3 6 plus 4 10 plus 5 15 this is odd number leave it similarly second one is also you'll get a odd number leave it fourth one 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 8 plus 6 that is 24 this is even number this is one of the possible answer 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 that is 18 this is also one of the possible answer so uh, for fourth question answer is 3 and 4 that is b answer is 3 and 4 okay next we'll go for sixth fifth question this is also based on theorem if i of i m denoted denotes the set of integers modulo m then the following are fields with respect to the operations of addition modulo m and multiplication modulo m this is also already i have told you this is also based on theorem if you know zn is the field if and only if n is a prime means if n is a prime then you can easily find the answer first option z of 23 23 n is 23 is it prime number yes what is prime number prime number is uh, it divides 1 and itself 23 is divides 1 and itself uh, other than any other number similarly 29 that is also prime number 31 that is also prime number 33 is not a prime number because 33 divides 1 3 and 33 so it is not a prime number answer is 1 2 3 option is c option is c i hope you understood this is a looking like lengthier question is lengthy but the answer is very simple very shortcut if you know the theorem zn is the field if and only if n is a prime sixth question an example of a binary number which is equal to its two's complement is it's a very interesting question the given all options you need to check a b c d find its two's complement means find its one's complement and two's complement the given number equal to the two's complement then that option is your answer find uh, i will select randomly uh, b while selecting the option you need to take a some shortcut route in your own way i have selected b 1001 that's one complement is 0 1 1 0 because in one's complement 1 changes to uh, 0 0 changes to 1 so 1 is 0 0 is 1 0 is 1 1 is 0 find the two's complement two's complement is add 1 to the one's complement you will get answer is 0 1 1 1 but given is 1 0 0 1 so it's not equal so b is not an answer select c given is 1000 find one's complement 1 is 0, 0, 0, 0 is 1, 1, 1. Find, add 1 to the 1's complement, you will get 1000. Means, answer is C. Because your uh, given question is, an example of a binary number, which is equal to the 2's complement. The given binary numbers, find its 2's complement, if you get equal. Now, given is 1000, you got answer is 1000. So, answer is C. I hope uh, you... Uh, you got how to solve how to tackle complete exam uh, complete exam questions because um, all the questions looking like a difficult if you know how to tackle it it's very easy i'll go for next one when a tri-state logic device is in the third state then this is straightforward question it draw no current there is no other shortcut method to solve this question. Uh, this is theoretical question. You know, you need to know all states of logic. This is uh, seventh question is option A. It draw low current in tri-state logic device is in third state. It draws low current. Okay, we'll go for eighth question. An example of connective which is not associative. 
is and already we know that and or xors are associative only nand are not associative nand is not associative because a union b you may change it b union a uh, there is no change a or b you may change it b or a there is no change similar so only option is d that is nand is not associative okay we'll go for next one essential hazards may occur in this is theoretical question one more theoretical question it if you know answer you can answer directly in 10 to 15 seconds that is c asynchronous sequential logic circuit working in the fundamental mode uh, in examination you are in the hurry don't select d because looking like d also same asynchronous sequential logic circuit working in the both almost only in c fundamental mode d pulse mode it is fundamental mode while answering a question be careful i hope you understood this question answer is c then third or tenth question the characteristic of equation of a triple prop is this question is asked frequently asked in many old question papers uh, it may sometime in this question paper asked t flip flop sometime it may sr sometime d um, flip flop we'll see this is a direct question uh, q of next state is equal to t of q dash n and plus t dash of q n answer is a direct uh, characteristic equation of a t flip flop Uh, but you try to know the other flip flops characteristic equation i have listed here mm, t flip flop already we know that sr flip flop s plus q r dash and jk flip flop k q dash plus k dash q d flip flop d only so you try to know the related to uh, same question related to other answers it may ask sometime in this uh, question ask t flip flop sometime it may ask sr flip flop flip flop jk flip flop drt so be careful like this questions um today i'll stop here i hope you enjoyed this um class uh, please welcome your comments please uh, like share subscribe my channel uh, please if you have any queries just subscribe and um, comment in the comment box thank you